auditing internal controls or financial reporting on process controls and application controls. The purpose of internal controls or financial reporting is discussed in auditing standard number five of BCAOB. It is to assess the enterprise assessment of internal controls effectiveness or financial reporting leading to preparing general purpose financial reports uh, that is for stakeholders and one or more material weaknesses in an internal controls means that they are ineffective for financial reporting. Auditor use a recognized control framework to conduct the internal control audit. When planning the audit, the auditor must consider what to and how much to audit, assess the risk of significant accounts, disclosures and assertions that goes with it, scale the audit along with the enterprise complexity and meeting control objectives, address the risk of fraud leading to material misstatements, use audit work performed by others to decrease the auditor's work that's already conducted and consider materiality in conducting the audit. Auditor uses a top-down approach to audit internal controls or financial reporting. First is to identify enterprise level controls, looking at the control environment and controls management can override certain controls that should be revisited and then examine the procedures adopted by the enterprise for period in financial reporting. Second is to identify significant accounts and disclosures and assertions that goes with it. Third is to understand the likely sources of potential misstatements. Fourth is to select controls to test. Fifth is to test controls for effectiveness of designs and operations. Sixth is to obtain evidence in relation to risk that I encountered. Seven is to consider audits that would follow in the future. Eight is to evaluate control deficiencies. Nine is to form opinion based on the evidence obtained from all sources such as identifying enterprise control levels, identifying significant accounts and disclosures, then understanding likely sources of potential misstatements, then about the control tests conducted uh, and uh, the evidence that was collected in relation to the, the risk encountered uh, in these controls.